بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إن شاء الله today we'll be carrying on we, we left off basically we had started reading the words and sentences we began with uh, two words and then three words and then إن شاء الله today we'll be moving on to four words and eventually new sentences but before that إن شاء الله uh, we'll start our revision we'll start from the beginning, inshallah, we will do a little bit and then we'll go on to today's lesson, inshallah. So without uh, taking too much time, inshallah, everybody will read uh, a page at least. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alif, Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Tha, Kho, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zai, Sin, Sheen, Sod, God, Ta, Zo, Ain, Rain, Fa, Kof, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Nun, Ha, Wow, Ya. Sent. Uh, Brother Dawood, the next exercise. Just read them as they are, but uh, you can read the ones in the in the column on the left. So alif three times, ba three times. This is just to refresh our memory how they're written. I think you might be on mute. Okay, Bismillah. Alif in the in the beginning, alif in the middle, alif at the end. Ba, ba, ba. Ta, 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 and ta marbuta. Well done. Ta, 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 jim, 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 ha, 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 ka, 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 dal, 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 ra, 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 Zai, 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 Sin, 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 Sheen, 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 Sod, 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 Dod, 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 Ta, 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 Ain, 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 Rain, 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 Fa, 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 Kaf, 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 lam, 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 meme, 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 noon, 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 ha, 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 and then ha, the single one with no dots. Wow, 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 ya, ya, ya. MashaAllah, Ahsan, well done. Yeah, I think you've been practicing when we've been away because MashaAllah, your Ayn was excellent. Ghayn, Ha, Kha, all of them, MashaAllah. Khaybar, uh, explain to us a little bit about this last page here in this module and then you can read them for us. You might be on mute. So, Hamza, it comes in three forms it can come on top of a wow and on top of a yeah three or, or six in front of you sorry six forms it can come alone it can come on top of a alif it can come under a alif it can come on top of a wow it can come on top of um, a yeah yeah, and the one in the middle, they sometimes they call it a kursi. So you put it like on a chair and a small pedestal here. Okay, and the difference between Hamzatul Wasl, Hamzatul Qatr? Hamzatul Wasl, Hamzatul Qatr. Hamzatul Qatr, when it comes at the beginning, when both of them comes at the beginning, you pronounce them. But when Hamzatul Qatr, when it comes in the middle, you do not pronounce them. And Hamzatul Wasl, you pronounce it and the second so, difference um, is that uh, Hamzatul Qatr you pronounce Hamzatul Wasl if it's uh, the second letter 
and before it, for example, is wa or fa conjunction, then you skip it. That's wasl, huh? And the second difference in the writing? When um, when on top of Alif, if there's a Hamza there, that's Hamza to Hamza to Qatar. And when there's and when, when it's just a Alif, that's Hamza to Wasl. Ahsant. And then the next one, the next uh, little paragraph in the middle. Alif Al Hamza Mamduda. That's when you stretch the, when you stretch it. And what what's what is the what's our cue to show that we should stretch it? There's a line on top of it. When fatha comes before it, and there's an alif, you stretch that letter. Okay, this one is a little bit different. That that is in al madd al tabi'i, and here is hamza al mamduda. So for now. Hamza al-Mamduda is, as long as you have that wavy line on the top, uh, that's your mad. And then the last one? If maqsura, that's, I'm not sure about that one. Okay, so Alif maqsura is similar to a ya, but it got, got no dots. And remember here, uh, a Mamduda you're pulling and maqsura you're also pulling. So, for example, the word mustashfa. So it's fa. If it's a fa with a fatha only, you say fa. They want us to pull it. So then they put this alif maqsura and they want you to pull it a little bit. Mustashfa. Just a little bit. And inshallah, you'll take that more when uh, it comes to the actual uh, Arabic and writing, etc. So that's good, mashallah. At least we did the first module. Uh, let's go back to where we left off. It's Ramadan, so we won't do too much, but at least we'll do a little bit. And every day, inshallah, for the next few days, uh, we'll try to go over a module uh, along with the lesson we're reading. And inshallah, uh, by the last 10 days of Ramadan, we should be able to have finished in this book. You must always remember that whenever you take anything and then you leave it for a while, it's it's normal uh, to be a little bit rusty, even to forget a few things, and you just need to be reminded. And if you remind yourself constantly over a period of time, then it becomes a second nature, inshallah. You won't forget. So we came here to Qira'atul uh, Kalimat, reading the words. And uh, as far as I remember, we did this uh, three words also, correct? Anyone was with us? Yeah, we did. Right, yes. so now we are on Arba'i Qira'ati Arba'i Kalimat. Reading four words. Uh, whenever you guys it's your turn to read, then you can switch on your mic. When it's not, you can keep it off. Right, so I'll start reading. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So the first word here, is obviously uh, the first sentence Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim itself. As you can see, there's a ba with a kasra, that's b. Then we join to the scene because it got a sukun bis, and then uh, mim with a kasra, mi bis mi. Uh, usually, what we do is we read the words separately and then we join. So this is bis mi, right? And then Allahi we read before alif. And then this lamb got a sukun, al, and then you got another lamb, so they put a shadda with a fatha, Allah, and then you also supposed to have a alif, so you pull it, Allah, but because it's, some words are constantly written, then they left out the alif, and then you got a ha with a kasra, Allahi, and then uh, we got your alif here again, and then lamb. Why don't we pronounce this lam? Because it's lam uh, shamsiya. So we go straight to the ra. The ra got a shadda. So we join it ar, ar ra, and then join the ra to the ha rah, ar rah. Uh, here is something interesting. I want you guys to pay attention to it. The meme here only got a fatha. So we say ma, ar rah ma. 
However, the word, because of how many times people used to write Bismillah, they left out the Alif, writing-wise. However, we still read it. So the, originally the word is like this. Look. Alif, Lam, Ra, Ha, Mim, and then here Alif. Originally, I want to put in red. So originally in the original word, there's an Alif here. So you pull it, Ar-Rahman. Like that. And because people constantly wrote it like this, then just uh, to shorten, they scratched out this alif in writing. However, in pronunciation, it's still there. So if you look at it, the word, the way it's written is ar-Rahmani. We're not pulling the meme, the way it's written. But in reality, we have to pull it. And uh, there's a few words like this also you'll find in the Qur'an. It's also written like this when you open your mushaf. Uh, there's no alif after the meme. So that's something to bear in mind. So this is ar-Rahmani, even though there's no alif here. Right, so just remember that. And then ar-Rahim, alif. And then uh, we join it straight to the ra, because it's uh, shamsiya, ar-ra. And then ha with kasra ar rahi and then we want to pull the ha because there's a ya after it ar rahi mi, and then joining them all together. So the first word bismi, and the second is Allahi. If we look at bismi here, it's got a kasra at the end, and here this word, it's got a sukun, and after that, so we. Uh, the, the alif, we will, sorry, the alif, uh, we won't read it because it's uh, Hamza to Wasl here. And we'll go straight to the lamb. The lamb got a shadda. So, Bismillahi. And then joining this ha, again, we'll skip this Hamza because it's Hamza to Wasl. And we'll also skip the lamb. We'll go straight to the ra. So, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Same here with the noon, noon and kasra. And we join straight to the Ra. Nirrahim. So, Khaybar, if you could try that for us, please. Yeah. Bismillah. B. This. Me. This. Me. A. Allah. He. Allah. He. Ar. A. Ar. Rah. Ar. Rah. Ma. Ni. Ar. Rah. Ma. Ni. A Arrahimi Arrahimi Bismillah Arrahman Arrahimi Ahsant Brother Suhail B Bismillah Allah 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 Ni ar rahmani ar ra ar ra hi ar ra hi ni ar rahim ar rahimi bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ahsan, so whenever you're stopping there at the end of any word in Arabic, this is just for your own general knowledge. Uh, when you stop, you always stop on a sukun. So for example, here bismillahir rahmanir rahimi. Uh, when you want to stop, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. If you're carrying on, for example, Surah Al Fatiha, uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So usually they'll always leave you the haraka here, the kasra or fatha, whatever it may be. Just in case you want to carry on, you know how to read it. If you're stopping, you stop on a sukun. Uh, Brother Dawood. Bismillah. Uh, Bis, bismi, bismi al Allah Allahi, <coughs> arah arahmani, arah arahimi, arahimi. Ahsan, and if you if you're joining them all together, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Ahsan. Well done, mashallah. So uh, exactly how you read that. <coughs> the meme here, for example, here we've uh, divided our words. We've put small little borders. 
So if you want to join them, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ahsant, well done. Next one. So you've got your alif and your lam. We said on top of your alif, uh, we'll put a fatha. A, al, because it's lam or the sukun, then ha. Al ha, al ham du, al ham du. And that's your first word. Then li is a kasra. Lillahi, lillahi. I want you to notice the difference between uh, the one on the top. The one on the top here is Allahi, and the bottom here is Lillahi. If you look at the top, you'll find that the one on the top got an alif. That's why we say Allahi. This one at the bottom got no alif, rather, the lamb got a kasra. So immediately we're saying Lillahi. Also, notice how the one on the top, because there's a fatha, we say it with a bit more of a full mouth. We say Allahi. And the one at the bottom, empty mouth, we say Lillahi. So here, Alhamdu, Lillahi. And Ra, joined to the Ba, Rabb. The Ba has a kasra. Rabbi, and that's a word. Rabbi. And then Alif, joined to the Lam. Al, Ain, Al, A. And then we're pulling it because of the alif, al a And then lam with the fatha, la, al a la mi, al a la mi. Pulling the meme because of the ya, al a la mi. And then noon with the fatha, na, al a la mi na. All together, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Khaybar? A, al, ha, ham. Do Alhamdu Li Lillahi Lillahi Ra Rabbi A Al A Al A La Mina Al A La Mina Alhamdu Lillahi Rabbi Al A La Min Ahsant Brother Suhail A Al Ham Alha Ham Alhamdu Lillahi Lillahi Ra Rabbi Al Ala Mean Alham Alhamdu Lillahi Rabbil Ala Mean. Try read it all as one sentence Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Ala Mean. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ahsant, well done, Brother Dawood. Ah, Al, Alha, Alham, Alham, Alhamdu. Ahsant. Lil, Lilah. The Lahi Ra Rabi Rabil No Rabi Yeah yeah you you got it right Rabil if you want to uh, uh, read them separately first yeah. read the last one yeah, yeah. Rabi Al Allah Allah Allah, Allah. Okay, let's break it down. You've got an alif and lam. You've got that al, and then after al, that, a ain with a with a, with a fata. <coughs> so it's and, ah, Ahsant. and then they want you to pull al, the ain a Allah, little bit. Allah, al a, al a, al a. Al A Lami Lami Well done Lamina Well done uh, <coughs> Al Alamina Al Alamina Ahsant and right. the whole uh, sentence Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen MashaAllah well done Ahsan If you notice uh, here as well as in the previous uh, exercise 
there were quite a few uh, verses from Surah Al-Fatiha and it's important for everybody, all Muslims, you must try and know, uh, get to know Surah Al-Fatiha. Uh, so at least you can read it in your salah. So that's also good for us. Uh, that uh, Alhamdulillah, we're going over it. And, uh, you know, I've read uh, in the Haram, there was one Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Bashir, mashallah, is taught uh, four or five uh, from the Imams of the Haram. And he was saying, uh, as far as I remember when he was telling me, he said that when I went to read to my Sheikh, so he's Sheikh in Quran, even though who he was, basically well-renowned, he said, I sat in Surah Al-Fatiha for about two months, just going over it. He was a hafiz, he had memorized everything. And usually when you go to read by him, uh, even if you're a hafiz, even if you've memorized, uh, you'll sit with him reciting Surah Al-Fatiha at least for one, two weeks, if not more, because they want to correct uh, pronunciation, etc. So there's there's nothing wrong. It's something it's something good uh, that somebody goes over Surah Al-Fatiha, even if it's many many times, and you you able to correct it as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that it is uh, the best, the most powerful chapter in the Quran. As for the most powerful ayah, then that's Ayatul Kursi. So sorry, we just went out of that, but it's uh, Ramadan, and uh, some of these things are interesting. Next. Uh, you've got your Hamzatul Qatr with a Kasra, E, then Ya with a Shadda, E, and then you've got uh, a Fatha, so E, Ya, and then they want you to pull your Ya, that's why they've given you an Alif, so E, Ya, E, Ya, Ka, and that's one word, E, Ya, Ka, Na, Na, Bu, Na, Bu, Du, Na, Bu, Du. Wa. Notice how this is uh, the second alif here is Hamza tul Qatr. That's why we have to read it. Can you see? You got a small Hamza here, so we can't we can't skip it. We can't say wa yaka. No, wa e wa e join to the ya wa e, and then fatha wa e ya pull it wa e ya, and then kaf or the fatha ka wa e ya ka. Last one, na, nas, ta, nas, ta, i, nas, ta, i, pull it, nas, ta, i, nu, nas, ta, i, nu. All together, i, ya, ka, na, budu, wa, i, ya, ka, nas, ta, i, nu. Khaybar? Yeah, that's really it. I, i, ya, ka, i, ya, ka, na, na, bu, du. Na'budu wa iyyaka wa iyyaka na nas ta nas ta ta'i nu nas ta'inu iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nas ta'inu wa iyyaka nas ta'in Ahsant, Suhail Bismillah I I Ya I Ya Ka Iyaka na na bu na abu du na abu du wa i wa i ya wa i ya ka wa i ya ka na nas ta nas ta i nas ta i i nas ta i nu nas ta i nu iyaka na abu du Ahsant, Brother Dawood. Okay. I, I, ya, I, ya, ka, I, ya, ka, na, then sekund, na, bu, na, bu, du, wa, wa, i, Ya, wa iyaka, na, nasta, nasta, ina, or inu. Sent all together. Iyaka nasta, 
yakanabudwa yakanabud wa yakanastain yakanas yakanabudwa yakanastain Excellent. Inshallah, today at the end of the lesson, Inshallah, I'll explain to you guys a little bit of this. Uh, this, this we've read three lines, but because we're all reading, we've actually read how many words? Four, eight, twelve. Twelve words. So that's usually a page. Uh, do you guys want to finish off till the end? Is that okay? Till the end of this exercise. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's go. Bismillah. Wa. Again, look at Hamzatul Qatr. We have to read it. Wa'ati, wa'ati, pull it. Wa'ati, ru, wa'ati, ru, and then pull the ayn also. Wa'ati, ru, and then this alif here is just to show that it's plural. The word wa'ati, ru, and that's a word. And Allah, wa'ati, ru, wa'ati, ru, and then. Arra su arra su pull it arra su la arra su la when we joining them wa ati Allah wa ati al Rasul khaybar Bismillah wa a wa a ti wa ati al wa ati al a Allah ta Allah wa a wa a ti u wa a ti u a ar ra su la ar ar rasula wa a ti u Allah wa a ti u ar rasul. Hassan Suhail. Wa a wa a ti wa a ti ti wa a ti u wa a ti u. Waati u al la Allah ha Allah ha Allah ha Allah ha wa a wa a ti waati u waati u ar ra ar ra su ar rasu la ar rasu la Wati Allah, Wati Ur Rasul. Ah, sense. So your your lam or Allah has to be a little bit fuller. So right now yours is half half. Wati Allah, Wati Allah, Wati Ur Rasul. Inshallah, that will come later on, brother Dawood. Wa, wa a, wa ati, wa ati u. Allah, Allah, Ha, Hawa, Ati, Ara, Arasula, Arasula. All together. Wa Ati U Allah Ah Hawa Ati Arasula. Okay, so, and then when we're joining, so we'll say uh, if, if we're reading one one, wa ati'u Allah. But we're joining wa ati'u Allah. Wa ati'u Allah. No, here now you'll be skipping this alif here. Let me write it here. Yeah. Because it's it's wasl. So so you you yeah. you, you, you go right yeah. to full Allah. Yeah. Allah. Yeah. Allah join straight from this ayn here, yeah. straight from here, and join yeah. straight onto the lamb. Allah try that. Allah Ahsant. And this, uh, the next one, the same. Wa uh, this one here wa from the ayn. Yeah. Wa wa Ahsan, so here wa ati'u ar rasula that's when we're reading one one, when we're joining straight from the ayn to the ra. Look how many letters you're skipping. One, two, three, four. We must skip them all. Wa ati'ur. Just join straight. Ayn onto ra. Wa ati'ur rasula. 
وأثيروا أصول وأطيعوا وأثيروا أر أر أصول رسول أحسنت وأودا نيكست و أ و أ قي و أ قي مو و أ قي مو that's a word then alif we joining straight to the side because it's a shadda as lam with an alif la as sala ta as sala ta wa and then uh, alif mamduda wa a tu wa a tu az and then kaf with an alif ka az zaka ta wa aqimu as sala ta wa atu az zaka yeah <laughs> 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 ki wa aki mu wa aki mu as sa as sa la as sala ta as sala ta wa a wa a tu wa a tu az za az za ka az za ka ta az za ka ta wa aki mu salata Wa'atu Okay, not too long. Wa'atu zakata. No, no, it's a little bit. Wa'atu zakah. Wa'atu zakah. Ahsant. Brother Dawood. Wa, wa'a, wa'akimu, wa'akimu, as, as, wa, as, wa, Aswala Asa Asalata Asa Asalata Wa a wa atu Aza Azaka Ada Azakata Azakata Sent all together. Wa aqimu aswa aswa ata la wa atu azakata azakat. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. I just want to show you guys uh, this, so you, you get used to it. Inshallah, I'll, I'll carry on repeating it, and uh, and Inshallah we'll pick it up. So here we said this wa aqimu here is a word, yeah, and asalata is a word. Uh, there's no lesson on joining. But basically, I want you guys, if, you, if you're able to see this, you'll see it a few times and you'll be able to join yourselves. So this is a sukun here, okay? And then alif and lam, uh, this alif is sukun originally, and lam is a sukun. When you're joining, you, you cannot have two letters, two sukuns together. So you can only ever have one sukun. If there's two sukuns together, uh, there's nothing to join off. So if we come here to the second word, the sa, this is the first one that has a haraka, it has a fatha. Salata, we okay. We want to join it to the previous word. We have to look for the next uh, word that has a haraka, the first letter that has a haraka, either fatha, kasra, or dhamma. Not sukun, because sukun we can't pronounce. So if you look at your sa here, we can't pronounce it with a lam, we can't pronounce it with a alif, we can't pronounce it with a wa. So we go all the way back to this meme. This meme here got a dhamma. So now when we want to join this word and this word, we'll jump straight from here to here. Wa aqimu salata. Wa aqimu salata. Straight from the meme we jump. Why are all these other ones here? Because when we're writing, the, the wow is to show us that when you're reading it alone, pull the meme. The alif is to show us the word here is plural. 
but it doesn't affect our pronunciation. If we're reading it alone here, Alif and Lam, we say A, as salata And if we're joining, then all these become silent because they're not original letters. This Alif is not from the original uh, word. The Lam is not from the original word. Rather, it's to show uh, general and specific. So we jump straight. salata Same here. وَآتُ الزَّكَاةَ So you, this is your ta or the haraka. Everything else doesn't have a haraka. We just want to join the ones with the haraka. That will make it e the easiest for you. So you want to join these two? Look at the, the closest letter before it that has a haraka and join. So lam doesn't have it. Alif doesn't have it. Alif doesn't have it. Wow doesn't have it. Ta has a haraka. Join straight. So ta alone is two. And join it, joining it here, tuz, tuz, wa'a, tuz, zakata. So, Brother Dawood, when, when we're joining here, we'll say, wa'aqimus salata, wa'a, tuz, zakata. Try after me one by one, wa'aqimus salata. Wa'aqimus salata. Ahsant. Wa'a, tuz, zaka. Wa'a, su, zaka. Wa'a, tuz, zaka. Ahsant. Wa'atu, wa'atu zaka. Well done, Ahsan. This is this is uh, usually it will take a little bit of time as when we started off, but inshallah after that you'll be able to. So the easiest way to remember it when you want to join the one word to the previous word, look for the haraka. That's it. So let's go to the next one. A as astal fi astal fi ru. Astaghfiru. And then here, for example, if I'm not breaking it down, I want to join straight away. I'll look for the next word with the haraka. So look, I read this. Ra, astaghfiru. And then no haraka, no haraka. Then we've got a lamb. So I'll join it straight. Astaghfiru. Astaghfiru. I came straight to the slam here. Astaghfiru. Wa a wa a tubu. Look, all these, even though this on this one here is two separate words, but because they all have harakas, we have no problem. We just read the haraka as is. Wa a tubu ilayhi astalfirullah wa a tubu ilayhi khaybar. Bismillah. Astalfiru. Astalfiru. Allah. So join straight away. Inshallah, from now we, we join straight away so that we have good practice. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Wa. A. Wa. A. Oh, do you want me to? Do you don't want me to do this? You read like exactly the way you're reading. Wa. A. Wa. Tu. Wa. A. Tu. Bu. I. Lay. I. Ilayhi. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi wa atubu ilayhi Ahsan, Suhail Astaghfi Astaghfi Rul Astaghfirul Allah Astaghfirul Allah Wa a Wa a Tu Wa a tu Bu Wa a tu Bu I Lay Ilayhi Astag astagfirullah wa atubu ilayhi Ahsan brother Dawood A as asta stak stakh fu furu firu firu astagfiru astagfiru la Lay he, yeah, almost there. Uh, if, uh, if okay, lay, let's, break, lay, let's 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 break it down. So you've got the ru, and then uh, if we break it down word for word, the next the what's the next word? You we've seen it a few times now. Lelehi, lelay. Uh, Allah, uh, ilayhi is Allah. Uh, the the la, oh, last okay. word. Yeah. Allah, Allah. Well done. Wa a wa a tu 
wa atubu ilehi ilehi well done that's the one yeah. astag astagfuru la ha wa atubu ilehi well done mashallah you even joined it correctly uh, why did you join it here just so whoever's following they have a good idea astalfiru uh, how did you join the sabha to the islam yeah because because the alif didn't have any uh haraka on it well done so you went the ra was your letter here with a haraka and you wanted to join so you just looked for the next one with a haraka the and next you went one with haraka, yeah. well done shall we have the last one for today wa wa a t wa a t the and look, I'm just going to join straight away. If I want to read them alone, I'll say Wa'ati the al qurba I just want to join Dal straight to this sukun. Dal qu dal qurba. This is where uh, Khaybar, when we were telling, or when you were telling us about Al uh, Alif al Maqsura, here's it here. Another example. So originally this is a ba, and we just say ba, 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 fatha, ba, qurba. They want us to pull it, qurba, a little bit. Wa ati dal qurba, haqqahu, haqqahu. Wa ati dal qurba, haqqahu. Khayba. Wa ati, wa ati dal qurba, dal qurba. Ha haqqa hu haqqa hu wa ati dhal qurba haqqa Ahsan Suhail Wa wa ati wa ati dhal qurba wa ati dhal qurba haqqa hu haqqa wa ati dhal qurba haqqa Okay. Well done. Atita a al kurba al kurba hakahu hakahu. Well done. Well done. Wa yeah. Wa ati ta a ta ta ruk kaba so just join yeah just join your dal straight to the lam dal. Kurba, Dal Kurba, Dal Kurba, Ahsan, Hakahu, Hakahu, Ahsan, well done. Well done. Inshallah, uh, so far we've taken a few verses from Surah Fatiha. Uh, I want you guys, Inshallah, it's good for all of us during the month of Ramadan, it's a good time. We go over your Surah Al Fatiha. Uh, if you're unable to memorize it the first go, just go over it, looking inside, get familiar with it. And inshallah, uh, in the next lesson, I'll try and listen to you guys, uh, especially it's in Ramadan. We won't take too much time. If this time, we'll listen to Surah Al-Fatiha from everybody. Uh, that's why in Sahih Al-Bukhari, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ The best from amongst you are those who learn the Qur'an and uh, teach the Qur'an. So inshallah, we hope to all uh, uh, be from amongst the people in this hadith. Also, it's the month of Ramadan, the month of the Qur'an, and we can benefit. And it's also helping us when it comes to uh, reciting, uh, when it comes to uh, reading in our Arabic. Any questions for today before we finish off? Inshallah, we won't have any writing for uh, today. Once we get used to it a little bit and uh, there's a bit more time, we'll write. Any questions? No, uh, I have one. The, yes, but so we have we have uh, the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Then we have two yes, verses sir. of Fatiha. Yes. Where are the other verses from? 
Oh, okay. So this Allah wa Atiul Rasul. This is a verse of the Quran. And then uh, the, there's a few times it comes. So sometimes uh, one of the verses wa Allah wa Atiul Rasul Another one wa Allah wa Atiul Rasula Wahdaru So it comes a few times. And so these are setting these are setting yeah. us up for when it comes. They setting uh, uh, that's one is setting us up inshallah for when it comes also because I remember the sheikh when he read this book for us he was saying that inshallah you'll find the student who goes over it they've gone through many many uh, words in the Quran as well as the sunnah because there's some of them that are from a hadith more so they want you to get used to uh, that's why if you look at the the heading for this lesson they want you to get used to reading four words together so if you count all these there's four words one two three four one two three four okay, so that's the most common it, it, that these are the ones they brought these are the ones uh, they found you will find a few others like Rasul means obey allah and his messenger and you've got basically uh, perform your salah, establish prayer, and give your zakah, your uh, compulsory charity. Then, astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh is uh, from the hadith. Basically, you uh, seeking Allah's forgiveness. Astaghfirullah, I seek forgiveness from Allah. Wa atubu ilayh, and I turn to him, taba, tawab, someone who carries on uh, t returning to Allah after he's made a mistake. Then, Last one, wa'ati, which means give the qurba those who are close, wa'ati the qurba haqqahu, they right basically, wa'ati the qurba haqqahu. Also, uh, from what we read, I'll like give you a small uh, little uh, explanation. Surah Al Fatiha, inshallah, we'll go over it. I'll give you the verses we took. So, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim, or before that. Uh, when a person recites the Quran, he says, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim This is not a verse of Surah Al-Fatiha. Rather, Allah, uh, is, He orders us. He says that when you want to recite the Quran, فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ Seek the protection of Allah. Hence, we say before reciting, "A'udhu billahi I am seeking Allah's protection. I take refuge in Allah. Billah by Allah. Mina Shaytan al Rajim from who? From Shaytan. And Ar Rajim means the one who is far away from all goodness. Then Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim. This verse, uh, this uh, the scholars differ. It's called Bismillah or Basmala. Is Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim a part of Surah Al Fatiha or is it not? It definitely comes in the Quran, in Surah Al Naml. Speaking about the story of Sulaiman alayhi salam, Solomon, and the queen, he sent her a letter. And when she opened it, she read it, and it said, This is from Sulaiman, innahu min Sulaiman, wa innahu, and he began, wa innahu bismillahir rahmanir rahim. So in Surah An Naml, uh, chapter of the ant, it's definitely a verse. As for in Surah Al Fatiha, the scholars differ, is this a verse or it's not a verse? Those who say it is a verse, you'll find they'll also recite it loudly in Salah. Brother Dawood, I'm not sure in, way, uh, in Algeria whether they recite it loudly or not. When you go to the masjid and they say, Allahu Akbar, do they start Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim loudly? No, they don't. They just, no. they they don't. just go. Okay. Yeah. In some of the countries where they have the Shafi'i Madhab, they yeah. recite it loudly. So what's the meaning of Bismillah? So Ism means name. Bismi. In the name of Allah, Bismillah, and from his names, Ar-Rahman, there's a few meanings for Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Uh, Ar-Rahman, he himself is merciful. He himself is merciful. Ar-Rahim is uh, also a name of Allah and uh, describing his mercy. And his mercy reaches the creation that's one meaning so ar-rahman he himself is merciful ar-rahim rahmatul wasila his mercy reaches the creation another more common meaning uh, 
uh, is Ar-Rahman is obviously the name of Allah. And from every name, we able to derive an attribute. And they say Ar-Rahman means uh, he is merciful. His mercy reaches the whole of the creation. So he is merciful to everything, uh, all the creation, all human beings, animals, etc. Allah is merciful, Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahim, this name, also means the most merciful, but it's referring to a special mercy for his believers. Ar-Rahim, that's also another meaning. So when you're starting, literally what are you saying? You're saying, Bismillah, in the name of Allah, I'm beginning. Usually when you recite in the Quran, try, try and ponder over these things and inshallah you find, Bismillah, your iman increases. Bismillah, oh Allah, I'm beginning in your name, whether it's the Quran, whether you're doing something else. Who is Allah? Allah is the worshipped one, the greatest one. The one who, when you're trying to do something, and you begin in his name, he will help you. He's the only one who can help you. He's the only one who can, uh, you know, make all your affairs uh, correct and uh, give you what you need. Hence, you start. You start of any important thing, or it's a good habit. Anything you start, you remember Allah. Bismillah. And Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim is also the most merciful. From that, we can derive that... Uh, he gives, the one who is merciful gives, the one who is merciful shows you mercy, he helps you. And then we start off with Surah Al-Fatiha. Today I'll just give you the first uh, verse. Alhamdu lillahi rabbil alameen. Alhamdu means praise. Alhamdu, all praise is for who? Lillahi, for Allah. All praise is for Allah. Why? He carries on mentioning some of his names, his attributes. He says that not only is he Allah, he is also Rabb, Rabbi, the Lord. What, what The Lord in English has a very shallow meaning. In the Arabic you'll find Rabb is the one who nurtures, the one who brings up slowly, the one who provides, etc. So, Alhamdulillahi Rabbi. Who does he provide? Al-Alameen. Al-Alamin, a lot of the English you'll find it, it's written Lord of the Worlds, the Worlds. Al-Alamin uh, literally means whatever is uh, above and below and in between. So in the heavens and on the earth and in between. So basically every single thing, everything, Allah is the Lord of it. Where did we get that meaning from? When Fir'aun, the Pharaoh, uh, he was addressing Musa, Musa alayhi salam, Moses. And they had a back and forth. And he says, uh, who is Rabbul Alameen? Who is this Lord of everything that uh, of the worlds? So Musa alayhi salam says, Qala Rabbul Samawati wal Ardi wa ma baynahuma. He is the Lord of the heavens and the earth and whatever is in between them, whatever is contained in them. So basically everything Allah is the Lord of. Also an interesting benefit is look at how Allah is telling us that all praise is due to him. And then he's also giving us a reason or some of the reasons. I mean, for example, well, billah. But let's say somebody had to say, why should I praise Allah? Why is he deserving of praise? Well, he's telling you that he is Allah. He is the worshipped one. He is the Lord of everything that's been created. He created you. He Everything that you have, he gave you. Your parents, he created them. The food and drink you've got. He's the one who gave you. So surely the one who is giving and whose attributes are such, he deserves to be praised. And that's why Ibn Kathir and others at this verse, they say, after Allah told us that all praise is due to him, it's as though he's indicating and telling us that after you know this fact, O son of Adam, then praise me. Allah loves to be praised. That's why a person should be in the habit of saying, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Basically you praising Allah. And inshallah, we'll stop there. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. You guys can master the verses with the meaning also is good. When you're reading in your salah, you can go over it. Anything else, inshallah, before we call it a day? No, 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 Shaykh. Inshallah, we'll meet tomorrow. Uh, 
uh, not 20 past, uh, half past, inshallah, half past four. So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.